Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe. Back from sickness-ish. My voice is probably going to crack some more. I've been battling a flu, so unfortunately I haven't been able to get as many of these up. been bedridden, but uh, I'm trying to get a few more out before uh, Thursday. As a quick programming note, Thursday I will be trying to stream pretty much all day, at least uh, from the time uh, it comes up. Uh, probably think it's around like 10 a.m. till at least 6 p.m. Eastern and then I'll try to do some games afterwards. If you miss anything, it'll all be on the YouTube channel afterwards, but you can catch it live on Twitch. Um, so what we have here today is a Throne of Eldraine Blue-White uh, uh, Flyers update or Blue-White Safara. Um, so unlike some of the other archetypes, didn't get too much um, from the initial build. Uh, we did lose the uh, one mana pirate that protects um, but with this deck you're looking to drop a bunch of one mana flyers and then uh, pump out an early safara uh, so the one drops that i'm choosing to play are healer hawk uh, one mana life linker the terramander uh, terramander uh, however you want to say it uh, it scales to the late game if we either flood on mana or have some instants in the graveyard uh, spectral sailor it's a flash threat that can draw us cards late game so it's a good kind of engine uh, Rally of the Wings is a good way to steal games. I like the fact that you get offense defense with the untap and it can also just surprise your opponent into dealing a lot of damage in one shot. Uh, I want to try out three Brazen Borrower. Uh, so this is both a disruption spell in the terms of bounce as well as uh, a 3-1 flyer at end step on your opponent's turn. So it's got pseudo uh, haste. You have your four Imperium Eagles. This is our, uh, let me show you. Does it get bigger? No. Um, so this is our Anthem effect for the deck. So this allows all our flyers to get plus one one. Uh, they stack so they can make pretty large creatures this way. Uh, then I'm playing three Hanged Executioners. Uh, so this is two bodies for three mana that can also uh, be used as removal. Uh, we'll see between three and four. I've always found it like medium in the deck. I usually like getting the more explosive one drop, one drop, one drop for the first two turns uh, and then try to follow it up either with an eagle on turn three or some sort of disruption or card draw like wing words. I'm opting to play three to fairies. Might not be needed in the deck, but I do like the fact it shuts off a lot of instant speed interaction. It forces your opponent to play out removal on their turn and uh, the turn we what kind of go off with rally of the wings, it gives us some utility that way. Uh, two unbreakable formations in the main. Uh, it's a little redundant with Safara, but it's just added insurance. You're only playing three uh, Safaras, and this deck naturally wants to overextend. Uh, so it's a way to keep our board alive, and it's another combat trick that can give our creatures plus one and vigilance to try to get that last point of surprise damage in. Winged Words is basically two mana draw two in this deck, so it's a way to refill after we drop all our early drops. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, Safara is basically, we're trying to pay her out for one mana, makes all other flyers indestructible, and she's a 7-7 seven, seven flying lifelink on her own. Uh, mana base-wise, pretty standard. I'm playing two castles. Uh, this is good against control matchups or games that go long with lots of removal. Uh, it allows us to create some tokens, although not flying. Sorry. The voice ain't what it used to be. Um... Then Hallow Fountains, there's no Scry Land, so we're playing some Tranquil Coves. It's a little slow, might just opt to play Basics or some more Castles, but it does help with the mana fixing because you are trying to get like blue and white as early as turn one. Uh, sideboard wise, as always with these sideboards, they're still a work in progress. Obviously you need to know what type of decks you're playing against to really sideboard efficiently, but these are some cards that I thought would be useful. Uh, Drake's first red base decks. Uh, Vetoes versus Control or Spells Matter decks. Hushbringer versus like the Elementals, anything that's got ETBs. We really don't have too many ETB effects other than Hanged Executioner. Uh, so it doesn't really hurt us as much. This may be something that's even main boardable uh, once we see what the meta shape's up to be. Uh, Deputy Detention is a concession to Field of the Dead decks. They can usually go wide, so we want to get kind of a reset on them. Could also be good against like Big Gruel or like henge decks stuff like that prison realm is catch-all removal and then uh i usually like playing some kef nets either in the like within the 75 uh they're good against very heavy uh removal based decks 
the fact that it could keep coming back and generate us card advantage in a way is quite useful for the deck. So that's pretty much my build. A couple cards I left out, Fairy Vandal. We're not too often going to be drawing more than one card a turn. You're really reliant on Spectral Sailor, Wing Words, or the Odd Teferi. So it didn't seem that good as a 2-mana 1-2. Uh, Hypnotic Spectre is the 2-blue counterspell for 3-CMC or play a 2-1. Might have a place, but this usually always has utility, even just as tempo play to get a blocker out of the way. And then just looking quickly, there weren't too many other flyers. I think Hushbringer has a chance, like I said, to be a main board card, uh, just with its ability to shut off Elementals and so many of like the other creature ETB decks. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, as I mentioned in the other videos as well, if you are considering purchasing any physical cards, I do have an affiliate link with TCG Player. Uh, it'll be in the video description down below. If you click the link, make your purchase as normal. Just lets them know that I sent you from the site. Just helps support the site. By, uh, helps support the channel without you having to spend any money on anything other than cards you're already going to purchase. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you have any other suggestions, stuff you want to see on Thursday's stream, uh, contingent on me getting all the cards in time, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a great one.